In this session, we'll begin the drawing of the floor plan shown here. Rather than using the Start from Scratch option, we will select the Use a Wizard option this time. And then we'll select the Quick Setup Wizard option, followed by clicking on the OK button. Since we'll be drawing a floor plan, we'll use the Architectural Unit of Measurement option, followed by clicking on the Next button. We'll now set the width to 60 feet and the length to 40 feet. These values define the extent over which the grid will be displayed. AutoCAD also refers to them as the limits of our drawing. After making sure that the correct values of 720 inches by 480 inches are shown on the symbolic sheet, we'll click on the Finish button. We now need to change the grid and snap intervals, so we'll select the Tools drop-down menu, followed by selecting the Drafting Settings option. We'll change both the X and Y snap spacing values to 6 inches, as well as the spacing values of the grid. We'll now click on the OK button in order to establish these settings. To activate the grid and snap options, we'll now click on their respective buttons in the status bar. In order to view the entire limits of the grid, we'll now click and hold the left mouse button while it is positioned on the Zoom Window icon. And then move down and select the Zoom All icon. We'll now define the attributes of the multi-line object that will be used to draw the walls of our floor plan. This is done by selecting the Format drop-down option and then clicking on the Multi-line Style option. In the Multi-Line Style window, we'll click on the New button and then key in the name Wall as the new style name, followed by clicking on the Continue button. We'll now enter the description of the lines, followed by clicking on the boxes to cause end caps to be placed at both ends of the lines. We'll next change the distance between the parallel lines by highlighting the first element and then moving the cursor into the offset window and entering a value of 2.5. And then we'll repeat this process in order to set the second element's offset to be negative 2.5, followed by clicking on the OK button. We'll now click on the Set Current button, followed by clicking on the OK button. In order to begin drawing the outline of our floor plan, we'll select the multi-line option from the drop-down menu. Now we'll left-click in order to define the start point, followed by moving the cursor to the left, and then again left-clicking after we see the 11 feet 6 inch value displayed. In order to define the vertical line, we'll key in the relative coordinate command at 0, 25 feet 6 inches, and then press the Enter key. For the top horizontal line, we'll key in at 30 feet, comma, 0, and then press the Enter key. For the vertical line on the right side, we'll key in at 0, comma, negative 30 feet, followed by the Enter key. In order to define the next horizontal line, we'll key in at negative 14 feet, 9 inches, comma, 0, and then press the Enter key. For the last line, we'll key in at 0, comma, 11 feet, followed by pressing the Enter key. We'll now right-click the mouse and select the Enter option. 